show me the two drills. One was the hockey drill. So you put the club out so that you go up. Now the club handle comes down, the club, there you go. So you're feeling that move. Good. And then the other one that helped you the most was as soon as I told you, keep your elbows level. So you swing up to the top and now your right elbow and your left elbow have to come down together. All right, so now just go ahead and hit one nice and easy. That way I don't care where the ball goes. Keep your elbows level. Okay, come here. So when you do the hockey drill or the split grip, all of a sudden we start feeling to get the handle to come down, the club head has to go out. To get your hands to come back where they started, you either have to work the club head out that way or you have to spin out of the way so far with your body and pull the handle into you, which slows the club head down. That was perfect. And then we go, okay, now we're gonna make a practice swing where we did what we talked about, which was go to the top and feel like your elbows stay level. Now here we start down and you feel like if anything, now that's actually perfect. See, your elbows are staying level. Mm -hmm. If your elbows stay level, it's really hard for the club to find beho fall behind your hands. Okay. So now there's your elbows staying level. If they stay level, it works the club out. So now where's the club shaft? Okay. I mean, it's still a little behind you, mm -hmm. but not even close to where it was. That's actually playable. That's the worst you used to get. So you just let it get away from you a little bit. And that's perfect on the follow through. So let's go do it again, exaggerate that even more. We want the face to have minimal amount of face rotation relative to your swing arc, okay? Mm -hmm. So anytime we have an abnormal amount of forearm rotation or wrist or hand rotation, then somehow coming back down, you're gonna to have to fix it, okay? Mm -hmm. So for whatever reason, as you got the club, letting the club go behind your hands, which is okay, letting the club, the weight of the club go behind your hands is all right, but you let it go behind plus let this wrist twist. This way? This way. So it's going this way, so the face mm -hmm. I don't mind the laid off, but laid off with the face way open, mm -hmm. then you've got to have a lot of twisting coming down. Now, with that face way open, plus the club behind you, now it's pretty obvious. So, your right hand has to feel like it works like, it feels like it goes like this. It, it doesn't twist, so it just feels like it's like that. Now, it, it won't be. It's not facing this way because as I swing back and my body rotates, the face, my right hand sitting like this, which the club's sitting right here, which it's perfect. For some reason, you started getting right here and you started twisting your hand where the face got way I open. Like that. Yeah. Okay, so let's hit a seven iron first. So you add a little more face rotation than you've had in the past. Mm -hmm with the club a little behind you, and what have we got? Freaking ball going everywhere. So your right hand, take it off the club. You know, just put the club in your left hand. So your right hand feels like it just goes, feels like it goes like, like that. Yeah. Okay, and then it hits the ball and it goes like this. So your right hand feels like it's doing this. You don't, you don't feel any of this. Twist. You feel that? Mm-hmm. Your arm rotates in your shoulder socket and your wrist just works like this. I thought it, it worked this way. Well, no, it, well, you've gotten it going this way. Mm -hmm. So it's twisting that way. So I want you to feel like your right hand goes like this. Mm -hmm. It runs into the ball and it goes like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You feel what it's doing? Mm -hmm. So it'll feel like the face is shut. All right, go ahead. Really slow. Feel like your right wrist. There you go. It's your right wrist feels like the face is shut. Face is shut. Now, does that make sense, Julie? Can you feel that? Yeah. Show me what you felt like keeps happening. You felt, felt like, like you're doing a lot of that. Yeah. Okay. 
anytime you feel like that's happening, for you, most of the time is somehow the club's gotten behind you coming down, so it's getting too, you, the club's dropped too far behind your hands, and or the face has gotten too far open, which could be your grip could be a little too weak, which your grip isn't, your grip's fine. So at the top, we were just twisting the face open a little bit, plus the club getting a little behind you, and it made it hard for you to catch it up. So I want you to feel like on this one, like you, your right hand, yeah, almost like you put your right hand under the shaft this way so you feel like the face is shut. You feel that? Mm hmm It feels shut? Yeah. Okay, so it feels like it goes from shut to square to open. So it's going to feel like that. Shut. Good. Now hit one for me. So I want your right hand to work that way. So your right hand works under. All right, come here. I want to feel better. Now you're going to feel like you're shutting the face on this one. See, right now the face, the leading edge of the club is right on the shaft plane. That's not shut at all. That's just square. Mm -hmm. So you had the face probably 20 degrees open at the top. So this right arm, not only was it dropping underneath, but it was getting the face way open. Yeah. So feel like you shut the face going back, handle comes down, club works out in front of you, and then you feel like your right hand has to work under, mm -hmm. like it's tossing a ball rather than twisting to catch the face up. Was I like over-rotating? Over-rotating, yes. Over-rotating and over-rotating the face. So you overdid both of those. So you're going to feel like you shut the face on the back swing. Then as you come down and the club works out in front of you, as it goes past, it just feels like you toss the ball with your right hand. So your right hand feels like it works under. Mm 